Welcome back mga kabayan, nagbabalik po muli ang inyong lingkod upang magbigay sa inyo ng mga bago at nagbabagang mga balita. Good news mga kabayan, tambaloslos na contempt na ng Senado dahil umano sa pag-insulto niya kay Super Ate Senator Amy Marcos dahil umano sa kadahilan ng merong isang organisasyon na matagal na or 20 years nang hindi gumagana pero may kasali or may pirma sa tinatawag nating People's Initiative. Wala lang ang kawala itong si Tambaloslos sa galit ni Senator Aimee sa kanya sa kadahilan ng hindi na nakapagtimbi itong si Senator Aimee Marcos sa kanyang mga pinaggagawa sa ating bansa at lalong-lalo na sa taong bayan na kanilang pinaglilingkuran. Maraming salamat Senator Aimee at sinagot ninyo ang panawagan ng taong bayan na ikulong itong tambaloslos na ito at sana po ay huwag ninyong hahayaan na makapagpiyansang inutil na ito at nang mabulok sa kulungan. Para nga sa buong impormasyon, panoorin na ang buong video at kung bago ka pa lamang sa aking channel, huwag kakalimutang mag-subscribe, pindutin ang notification bell at piliin ang all upang laging maging updated sa mga bago at nagbabagang mga balita at sa mga solid viewers. Welcome back mga kabayan, nagbabalik po muli ang inyong lingkod upang magbigay sa inyo. Ang isyo ngang ito ay naging usap-usapin din sa mundo ng social media. Merong isang netizen na nagsabi, may ebedensya na may makakasuhan at makukulong naman kaya. Abangan ang susunod na kabanata, dito lang po yan sa Senado. At sabi din naman ng isang netizen, tigilan nyo yan, puro paluson na lang ang lahat. Buong akala nila everything will turn alright at lahat ay makakalusot na lang ng basta-basta. Tigil na yung hearing total buong buo ng aming isip kung sino ang punot dulo sa firma. Thank you Senator Aimee at napakaganda ng iyong nagawa para sa bayan. At sabi din naman ng isang netizen, di ba yung ginawa ni Avisado ay criminal offense being fraud? Why not Senate Committee file disbarment suit against him? The acts or the act being one involving moral turpitude as well as both contrary to RPC and Lawyers Code of Canon? Uh, Your Honor, uh, Madam Chair, I just want to point out that uh, indeed the COMELEC cannot act and should never act anymore on initiative. Patay na ang initiative sa ngayon kasi as uh, stated by the Honorable Chair, there is already an injunction made by the Supreme Court. As a matter of fact, the Supreme Court said the COMELEC is permanently enjoined. Very clear ang sabi ng Supreme Court sa Santiago case. COMELEC should be permanently enjoined from entertaining or taking cognizance of any petition for initiative on amendments of the Constitution until a sufficient law have been validly enacted. To date, there is no valid law that has been enacted. Therefore, any act of the COMELEC on matters pertaining to initiative, even a review of old rules or regulations, should not be made. That will be ultra vires, that will be unauthorized because there is a permanent injunction. Now, there is also uh, this uh, matter of uh, right to privacy by some contributors or supporters of the initiative. I think the right of privacy cannot be invoked by these uh, supporters or contributors because they have signed as part of the initiative. They were proponents, they were contributors. And what did they state? In the, uh, in the proposition that they have signed, they stated, among others, that we fully understand the proposition, which were explained to us in our own dialect, and we are aware of its advantages as well as its consequences and effects as we have read the full text and contents thereof. Therefore, if... Uh, the matter of uh, right, uh, the, in, if uh, they would be asked to uh, reveal their names as contributors, then they could not uh, escape that particular liability because they themselves admitted that they are well aware of the consequences and effects of signing a petition for this initiative. Kaya itong initiative ay siguro pwede nang ilibing sa limot muna sapagkat marami pang dapat na ayusin ang ating mga mababatas. Thank you very much, Marami Attorney salamat. Mac, uh, for reminding us that, in fact, an injunction is contained in the Santiago yes. ruling, which we Fair should honor to injunction. the present day. Yes, um, 
Yes, sir, Attorney Abisado, what was that? Just a very quick reply from Pirma, Madam Chair, with all due respect to my idol, Attorney Rolly Makalintal, and also the good chairman and the commissioners of the COMELEC. It is Pirma's constitutional right to push for people's initiative. Not even the COMELEC, with all due respect, can kill that right. And the persons, our contributors, are not proponents, so they are not covered by the signature form that was read by Attorney Makalintal. Yun lang po, marami salamat. Madam Chair. Yes, uh, Senator uh, Risa, please. Thank you, Madam Chair. Further to uh, Attorney Makalintal's point, uh, donors should reveal themselves. Uh, unless talagang iba ang funder, unless iba yung uh, tigapirma. No? So just for the record, Madam Chair. May I continue my yes, questions to Chair I, Garcia? Uh, I I would, oh, so sorry. That's I would right, also Madam like Chair. to uh, offer um, the uh, Senate's protection through an executive session, perhaps, or even a witness protection uh, possibility. We have done this before for whistleblowers and such, and we are perfectly happy to do the same for your donors. Thank, Madam Chair, thank you. May I continue my questions to Chair Garcia? I have, uh, an order of the ah, yes, Madam Chair. Mission of documents. Can we uh, carry on later? Yes, Madam Chair. Thank okay, you. Okay, thank you very much. I'd just like to put this aside. Um, we thank the SEC. Your representatives are here, I believe. And um, we are given to understand that, in fact, PIRMA no longer exists as of February 10, 2004. Is that correct? Yes, Madam Chair. Um, their certificate of registration has been revoked since February 10, 2004. So, uh, when was this, in fact, registered? Um, the uh, PIRMA was registered uh, or incorporated on March 12, 1997, Madam Chair. So, from 1997 to, uh, to the date that you revoked their incorporation in 2004, I understand that uh, the uh, Reglamentary requirements, the documents that are uh, repertorial requirements uh, were not submitted, is that correct? And for that reason, you therefore uh, revoke its uh, incorporation? Yes, Madam Chair. Uh, since the time of their incorporation, they have not submitted any repertorial requirements with the SEC based on our records. Yes. Um, who do you have as the directors of this uh, corporation, please? Yes, um, you have uh, uh, Madam Mr. Pedrosa, I understand, Polycarpio, is that what, am I reading properly here? Y yes, Madam Chair. Uh, Mr. Alberto Pedrosa, Mr. Alfonso Polycarpio, yes. Ms. Eliza Salapantan, Mr. Horacio Montefrio, and Ms. Carmen Pedrosa. Yes, and uh, they have never uh, reported or updated their documents with the SEC? Yes, Madam Chair. What we only have uh, are their uh, articles of incorporation and bylaws that they submitted at the time of their incorporation. The name of Mr. Noel Oñate does not occur? None, Madam Chair, at the time of their incorporation. The name of uh, the uh, attorney, Anthony Abad, does not occur? None, Madam Chair. Nor is counsel, Ghana Incorporated, Ghana and Partners, um, in any of the listings. Is that correct? Yes, Madam Chair, none. I understand. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Onyate, please, and the rest who uh, have come as representatives of PIRMA, um, what is your participation in this non existent corporation? Madam Chair, with regards to the uh, corporate registration of PIRMA, may we inform the committee that we made submissions in the online portal of the SEC updating the email and the contact persons. And after that, we are expecting a reply, hopefully, uh, giving Kailan us a yun? schedule. Yun, it was made through an email, uh, Memorandum Circular 28 Submission port Portal. Kailan nga? February, just this February. Madam Chair. So, pagkatapos lang ng hearing. Kasi yes, ang yes, Madam Chair. Senador. Because it took time for Mr. Onyate to speak with his uh, former associates in Pirma, and we are 
as soon as we are given but the go signal with the assessment. You are going to update the website of a corporation that has not been in existence for 20 years. You are correct, Madam Chair, but the process Wala is... Wala na to. Multo na to. The process is, Madam Chair, Wala we submit... Wala na pilma, 20 anos na. Ano pa pagpipilitan natin dito? That will lead to the filing of a petition for reinstatement once we were able to comply with the requirements and the payment of the penalties. That is our expectation from the SEC, Madam Chair, based on the rules of the SEC. Thank you. Tama po ba yun? Pakatapos ng dalawang dekada na hindi nagsasubmit ng anumang papel, buhay pa yung korporasyon? Ma'am, the proper process is they should have filed a petition to lift the order of revocation and not uh, submit any uh, uh, the, the, uh, the compliance for MC28. That was been mentioning by Attorney Avisado. So, Attorney because Avisado, the, I think the SEC is questioning your legal competence. Um, no, uh, Madam Chair, we cannot file a petition for reinstatement unless we update through this portal online submissions from Pulat sa SEC. So, we started updating. The next stage would be to submit the names, the new Directors Atari of uh, PIRMA. You should be warned. Ha? Wag mong tuturoan ng SEC ng trabaho nila. Baka ah, hindi mas po. matrouble tayo nito. Ah, hindi po. Na, never Baka my intention. Baka ilibing na Madam yung Chair. PIRMA na yan. Hindi Matay po. na nga. Naghihintay nga ho kami. Nakikiusap kami. Naghihintay kami na hopefully mapagbigyan at mabigyan ho kami ng assessment of the penalties which would allow us once we pay which would allow us to file a petition for reinstatement. Madam Yun Chair? Madam Chair? Oh, yes, Senator oh, Binay. Naguguluhan lang ho ako, Attorney Abisada, <laughs> dun sa timeline nyo eh. Nag-initiate kayo ng uh, People's Initiative, pero hindi pa pala ayos yung documentation ng pirma nyo. Di ba dapat nag-due diligence muna kayo kung talagang uh, may entity na pirma? Eh baka naman last minute lang to, pahabol. Eh may nakaalala na may pirma dati. At saka, kinalagkad na lang si Mr. Onyate na napakabait eh, nag-volunteer na rin. Diba, Madam Ganun Chair, ba so if Pirma does not... Eh, ba't walang Senator papel? Diba, if walang well, korporasyon, walang papel, walang resibo, ano ba to? Lahat kababalagan? Hindi. So, ang tanong, if Pirma does not exist, it does not exist dahil wala na uh, revoke na siya by the SEC. So, sino yung entity na nag-initiate na itong People's Initiative? Madam Chair, uh, Senator Binay, to answer your question, totoo po yung, uh, uh, yung observations ninyo. When we check the status of uh, PIRMA, we knew na cancelled na po yung registration. And we also knew that it would take a while bago po kami makapag-file ng petition for reinstatement. When we check the rules, we Kaya found nga, out that for purposes of a PI, Senator uh, Marcos, yes, it's Abisado. only a registered voter that is required to, to file for People's Initiative. And we are hoping by the time we file the petition, baka nga po umabot na kami doon sa part na makapagbayad na po kami ng... Hindi sana ng, hindi na ninyo ginamit yung pirma. Yung mga individual names na lang ang linatag. People naman ito eh. Basta may tao doon na nakapirma, ayos na yon. Ba't pa kinaladkad yung pirma? Bakit ginamit-gamit pa itong kalansay na korporasyon na patay na? We understand your observation, uh, Madam Chair. Advocacy ho kasi ni Mr. Onyate ang Hindi pirma. He started it lang, 1997. Parang nakalagkad na lang ito ng, uh, ng uh, last minute para may mukha, para may pangalan. Ganun ba yun? Ah, hindi kasi po. Parang And hindi Mr. Onyate naman... can answer, Madam Chair. Hindi, kasi parang parang uh, parang nahuli lahat ng dokumento, hindi pa incorporated, biglaan to. Sino ba at bakit kayo nagmamadali? Sabi mo nga, dapat nagpetisyon pa. Dapat nag-ayos muna sa SEC. Dapat nag-submit na sangkatutak na dokumento para ma-revive yung korporasyon. Bakit minadali? Madam Chair, hindi po kami nagmadali. In fact, we want to clarify. Wala po kaming deadline. Our deadline is once we reach the minimum required by the COMELEC. Ma Madam Chair? May Question. deadline po kayo, ha? Ma yung uh, January 32 p.m. Ah, nakalampas na kayo ng ilang beses. <laughs> okay, pwede, pwede matanong Senator lang Binay. ho yung COMELEC. Kasi di ba, uh, ilang percent na ho yung nag-submit ng 3%? Based on the submitted certification that we submitted to this committee, Madam Chair, uh, 211 po na legislative district out of the 253 and legislative districts. And out of and that 211, PIRMA yung nag-submit? Yung nag uh, yung 
uh, wala po kaming alam, uh, Madam Chair, kung pirma yun sapagkat uh, sa bawat municipal uh, election officers and city election officers, Madam Chair, uh, may dagdadala po and then of course, yung, uh, yung proponent o yung tao ng proponent kasama na po yung pangalan na na-mention po doon sa mismong uh, signature sheets at saka signature so, form. So, Pero, Chair, ang tanong, dahil doon sa Davao, sinabi po ng election officer na ang nagbigay daw yung mga abogado ng pirma. Tapos, inako naman ng abogado ng pirma, sila daw yung legal counsel ng pirma. So, ano ang nire-represent ng Gana Abisado? Nalilito na ako dito. Madam since Chair. non-existent nga. Oh, Senator yes. Binay. Ma Chair Garcia, is it possible for you to submit to the committee the yung 211 kung sino yung nag-submit yes madam chair the the certifications all the certifications uh, were submitted to this uh, committee nandun din po yung mga names kung uh, sino ang nagpa-receive sa commission election sa bawat uh, local comelec sa so, napanood yung video mga kabayan ano naman po ang inyong mga opinion ng ating comment section ay bukas para sa inyong mga komento at reaksyon huwag kakalimutan do not let your thoughts left unspoken. As citizen of this country, your opinions matter. Huwag pong mahihiyang magbigay ng inyong mga salobin, mga kabayan. At syempre, huwag nyo din pong kakalimutan i-share ang video ito upang inyong mga kaibigan at kapamilya ay maging aware din sa kung anong nangyayari sa ating bansa. Huwag din kakalimutan mag-iwan ng like. Hanggang sa muli!